I'm Mike uh, Thompson, uh, MD, PhD, a hematologist oncologist at Aurora Healthcare in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm talking with Nick Weber, also from Aurora Healthcare, who's a uh, sarcoma surgeon. We're talking about multidisciplinary conferences and talking about how uh, the use of online multidisciplinary conferences may uh, overcome the pain point of uh, having a feedback loop, and that may be extended to providing a case library of information for training students or uh, physicians about cases, especially rare cases, or uh, to demonstrate uh, how clinical decision making is made. I think this is a relatively new area that uh, is useful to explore uh, and does parallel other educational initiatives to use online training both for colleges as well as other uh, graduate studies. Uh, and uh, even is being considered for some med school courses as a training methodologies. Uh, this really hasn't been used uh, very much to my knowledge uh, in uh, multidisciplinary conferences, but could be utilized just as it is uh, used for looking at pathology cases in pathology training programs or radiology and radiology training programs. I think uh, it's a new area to explore as uh, education in multidisciplinary conferences. Uh, uh, and I'd like to introduce Dr. Uh, Nick uh, Weber, uh, who is a uh, surgeon and a specialist in sarcoma at Aurora Health Healthcare. And especially in sarcoma conferences where it's a very rare tumor and um, we don't have a very set chemotherapy radiation surgery protocol for all of the tumor types, I think it's a great way to learn and a great way for uh, students, residents, and fellows, and, and really young attendings to understand what institutions are using as their protocols, and potentially what tumors need to be looked at even more closely as different places are doing different things. So I think having a repository of cases is, is outstanding, not only for, for teaching students, but also for uh, teaching specialists. Online multidisciplinary conferences may overcome a number of pain points, including timing, scheduling, sharing of case images and files, and establishing feedback loops. Additionally, an area that has yet to be explored much is using it as an educational resource for uh, libraries of information to train students and uh, even established physicians in various areas, especially for rare tumors such as sarcoma. Uh, I'm Mike Thompson. Thank uh, uh, Nick uh, Weber for uh, uh, joining us on this conversation. My pleasure. Tools like MedTing, powered by Best Doctors, can help create an easily accessible educational library of cases that traditional multidisciplinary conferences don't offer. Visit bestdoctors.com forward slash MedTing or call 855-361-3800 to learn more about MedTing or to schedule a demonstration.